thank you, Mr. Kisweta, for joining uh, EWN. Yes, Mr. Kisweta, uh, as you heard, the happiness that uh, the uh, that you're not coming after uh, more taxes um, is SARS winning the battle uh, in terms of increasing revenue collection. Well, let me first say we will not declare victory yet, but there definitely has been a steady rebuilding program at SARS and that's beginning to bear fruit. So we mentioned 93 billion glibly that SARS will collect in additional taxes. But what that 93 billion means, first of all, it is a combination of an economy, certain sectors like the mining, manufacturing and finance that is still producing uh, profits above what is expected. But importantly, it is the additional administrative focus by SARS. This year we will, year to date, already have reported 167 billion rand that is collected through very focused compliance actions. What that means, Lindsay, is over a, almost one and a half million phone calls to follow up taxpayers who owe us debt. It is prosecuting several hundred cases that in our books where taxpayers have broken the law. Uh, you've heard the minister say that we've had uh, a significant success factor, 98% conviction rate. Um, it, the, the collection efforts have, have contributed over 60 billion of outstanding debt. So it is not one big thing that produces the extra revenue. It is a consistent and continuous effort by keeping 12 and a half thousand people meaningfully engaged, doing little things every day, every call, every letter, every SMS that collectively produces the revenue outcomes. And that's 93 billion rand that the minister doesn't have to go and borrow from the expensive market. It's 93 billion rand that does not have to be serviced by our children in the future. But it's also being used uh, to service our growing debt. I mean, if I were you, I'd be a little bit uh, uh, disheartened, if you will, that you're collecting all this money, but it's, it, is it really reaching the people? It's, uh... So the important thing is not whether or not we have debt. It is what that debt is contributing to. And in South Africa today, unfortunately, we have high levels of unemployment, high level of social distress. And so to provide more than 50 cents in every rand towards the social dividend is a necessary until we grow the economy and create meaningful jobs. Those 29 million people would be destitute. Secondly, the minister is ensuring that creates some space for Eskom by taking some debt off its balance sheet. The state in any case underwrites that debt, but that will allow Eskom to invest in generation, distribution and technology to bring about much needed power. And there's a straight line correlation between growth in e electricity consumption and growth in the economy. And then also you will see a big investment in the law enforcement agencies, which strengthens not only our revenue collection capabilities, but it also holds the criminals to book and is excellent for rebuilding our social fiber, which has been eroded in the last decade. Lastly, Mr. Kiswet, if you'll just indulge me, given all that you've just said, how urgent, how necessary is it to broaden South Africa's tax base? We are constantly working at broadening the tax base. So this year, we will announce again that well over a million new registrants have been added. Now, not all of those are contributing, yes, there are aspirant employees who register for tax, but already we're seeing over 5 billion rand that is added to the tax uh, revenue pot just from the additional registrations uh, in various areas and across various taxes. So we believe that the work of addressing the uh, or closing the, 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 the tax gap by expanding and broadening the base uh, is the necessary work that defers the need of the minister to raise taxes. And so our best dividend as a country today towards improving the social, the um, fiscal framework is a more efficient revenue collection agency. Thank you very much, Mr. Edward Kisweter, the SARS commissioner, um, on saying they're not quite uh, claiming victory yet, but certainly uh, they are overcoming some of those challenges uh, in the fight against tax corruption.